the Patriot League. He's got to catch up to J Jave Mead of Holy Cross. And right now he's number five in the nation in active players in their career assists. So that's the kind of ball handler Karan Ross is. How about a back cut? Kyle Stout up. He'll get fouled. And on the board early. Sometimes uh, shooters just need to get a feel for that ball going through the bucket. John Lafayette is the best free throw shooting team in the Patriot League coming in at 76%. Lehigh is number two at 74%. And Lafayette right now showing a man-to-man -man defense. Well, they just passed off a little switch in the backcourt, but they are man-to-man. -man. Petrie right now finds himself on Tejada. Tejada will take a floater and lay it up and put it in. Uh, you know, you, you choose your poison. Tejada can shoot it, Gary. You go under a screen and... You know, all of a sudden, he's in the lane. He can be very creative. He is their leading scorer at 14.4 points a game. He's number eight in the Patriot League. Matt Klanuski of Lafayette is number four in the league. As that three-point shot by Eric Stafford does not go. So we stay knotted up at two with just about a minute in the book. There is an unusual turnover. That time by Kyle LaFroy. You know, one of those senior guards, Gary. Gary just got a little ahead of himself on that move and turned it over. Come on, Kyle. Kyle Stout, that will not go off to the left side. Rebound is controlled by LaFroy. Lafayette fans have been really waiting for Kyle to get on track. He's one of the missing links. Everybody who watches Fran O'Hanlon's offense as we take a look at that Karan. man. Boy, Karan Ross is so tough, Gary. Those guards get in the lane. They can be very creative. Nice soft shot as he rolled it up on the rim, and it fell in. But anyone who's watched Fran O'Hanlon's offense knows that this is a key component. They've got to make shots. Uh, it is a, uh, it's a passing game and creates a lot of open looks. Well, they're number seven right now in the Patriot League and threes made. There's a terrific pass and an easy shot for Karnick. And Lehigh's up by four. Karnick gets the layup, Gary, but again, it's the guard play. Penetration, draw the defense, and a, a nifty little dish for the easy lay-in by Karnick. Both teams man-to-man. -man. Driving, Stafford, he'll drop it off for three. Petrie, he is a sharpshooter if you haven't seen him. Alex Petrie makes his team leading 24th triple of the year he knocks them down at 34 percent but he's better than that yeah he really is gary and uh fran o'hanlon starting him tonight a little change in the offensive lineup good rebound by stout he had to wait for it to come down as it bounced off the rim a couple of times jalice has it and he's going to get fouled on the play this will be 25 in that ball game they were much closer than that throughout did not finish well Jalise drops it off. Stafford down inside. First time I think Max touched the ball. Got to see more of that. We have to see more of that. That's where Matt Klanuski had done most of his work throughout the first three years. And, you know, Gary, I think he's kind of fallen in love with that three-point shot a little bit. He's been proficient, but uh, they need him on the post. Down inside, he wants to go against Matt. Good block by Klanuski on Karnick. Matt waited for him to go up. Here, we're going to get a hack, so Lehigh's going to... Inbounds, they go to Stafford, back outside. That's a three, put up by Klonuski. He can make that. That is yeah. knocking him down at 52%. That's his 23rd. I, I just think he's got to be more selective. I mean, that was in the rhythm of the offense. No problem with it. But the first look for Matt Klonuski has got to be in the post tonight. I think that changes this offense dramatically. Well, both teams have had four-point leads. Lafayette owns that right now. Down the paint, drop it off. Another nice pass. Yeah. That pass came from Tejada to Karnick. So Karnick kind of getting some of those nice passes that Tim Kempton used to get for Lehigh. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you get passes like that, like a big guy, you're going to shoot about 75, 80% from the floor. But that was all created by the guard play. Great little bounce pass in the post. Klonowski's got Karnick on him. Baseline drive. Stafford, he got banged a little bit. No call. Here we go. On the move is Ross. Ross looking to distribute. He does. How about a pull-up jump shot? That shot will be drained. That's a triple by Lance Tejada. He's number uh, one on Lehigh's team, number two in the conference. That's his 34th of the year. I love the way in transition, Gary. He's going full speed, and then he's totally under control, well-balanced, and just rose up into that good-looking three-pointer. And Ross gets an assist on that play. Looking to go Jalees. He'll get fouled post if Matt was down there and and the, the defense collapses he found Jalise that means that Jalise can get a step going to the basket and he drew the foul Matt tried to hit a triple there out of the corner from Jalise he did not get it so Lehigh has the ball on a one-point lead good defense that time by Jalise as he stopped Tejada from going anywhere Tejada is that East Carolina transfer set out last year 
but they loved him in practice. They said he was a terrific practice player. Good hard move inside by Karnick. And we're going to get another Lee Hunt recruit. Averaging three rebounds and 4.2 points a game. He wears number 10. So Brett Reed is going to try to protect him, obviously, Gary. But you know, there's an unforced turnover. Sloppy pass. I don't know whether you blame the passer or the receiver on that play. Because I think had Stafford stepped inside, he would have gotten the pass. Karan Ross with the bucket. Got to stop the ball, Gary. It's very important. The referee's going to get a stoppage here as there. A lot of players in there. Justin Jaworski did not start tonight. He's been starting most of the games and uh, did not get any reason why he wasn't in the lineup. Alex Petrie instead does start for Lafayette. He's got the ball. We know that uh, Jaworski is nursing an ankle. Kyle Stout drops down a triple. His ninth of the year. Tell you what, Kyle Stout can absolutely stroke it, Gary, and he has been MIA. Let's hope that during Patriot League uh, play, uh, we see the real Kyle Stout. Yeah, shooting just 27% from beyond the arc. And he is a much better shooter than that, and it's time to start showing it, and he did in the Cornell game. Well, matching <laughs> that is Karan Ross from downtown. His 12th of the year. Jalise drops it off. Petrie back to Jalise. Look in there, look in there. Good ball movement. Petrie wants to go baseline. He'll find Jalise. He'll find Stout. Way outside, Alex. They had a beat on it. Good read. Oh, they're going to call. It's to be made, even though it's not uh, terribly physical. E.J. Stevens in for Lafayette, a 6'3 freshman out of Florida. Also in Lucas Jarrett, a 6'7 sophomore out of Northport, New York. And also Miles Cherry in there, a 6'8 sophomore out of Newcastle, Australia. That shot inside doesn't go. Battling for the rebound is Stafford, and he took it away. Senior doing a good job, Gary, establishing himself down low. Stout way outside, just missed being on the mark. Just kissed the back of the iron and would not drop. like the posture, though. I like the, the aggressiveness. Good rebound by E.J. Stevens on the miss by Tejada. Stout. E.J. Stevens has seven triples. There it is, Gary. In the post, good ball movement. This one's going in. Mm. Good look. Doesn't go. Good job, Cherry. Drops it off. Jarrett up and in. But I will tell you, Jerry. I will tell you, Gary, offensive rebounds are not an accident. I've said it over and over and over again. That was great rhythm in their offense. The defense has to close out. They're not in a position to block out, and Lafayette gets a second chance. And Justin Jaworski will be coming into the ball game, so he is not hurt. He is okay. That shot doesn't fall. Nice rebound by Jarrett. Lucas with the basketball. Lucas comes in, averaging two and a half points a game. Stout was open, gave it up. He's going to get bumped, though. Knockout responsibilities, and that led to the second chance. Justin Jaworski is in. He is Lafayette's second leading scorer. He's a freshman out of Schwanksville, PA. And he wears number 11. Inside Jarrett, nice spin move, up and in. He got a mismatch on Caleb Bennett and took him to school. Gary, I don't know if they chart these kinds of things, but I don't know what percentage, on what percentage of percentage, of possessions has Lafayette thrown the ball down to the low post more than we've seen so far this year well we've already had four lead changes inside trying to draw the foul and not getting it is freshman Caleb Bennett Lafayette up by one and we're gonna get a minute just one team foul as that foul shot does not go and not taking advantage of the one and one was Lucas Jarrett who is just a 46 percent free throw shooter out of the timeout, Fran O'Hanlon goes to a 1-3-1. Try to slow down the rhythm of these uh, of these uh, Lehigh guards. Good I, hustle, too, and with a big man out front. It makes it a little tougher, but that guy out front makes it even tougher. He already has 10 points as Ross hits his second triple of this game. Now Ross can just outshoot the zone, Gary. That was about three or four feet behind the three-point line. It's not like Karan has just doing it this year or last year. He's been a Patriot League all-league player since he was a freshman. So if he makes the team this year, and no reason to think he won't, he will have made it all four years. Pull-up shot. That doesn't fall for Kyle LaFroy. It just kind of underscores uh, how much better so far they're running their stuff, and uh, the ball's going where it's got to go. The Lafayette, a little token pressure on the inbounds play, and that managed to take... Just about eight seconds off the uh, shot clock. 
kind of the reason you do it. We're tied at 19. Down the inside, they go to Cohen. Cohen wants to go, and he made a tough shot. He sure did. He shot it over Klinuski, who's got about six or seven inches on him, and he was fading away. So Cohen did a nice job, and... Well, we have that replay, but that looked like it should have been Lafayette basketball. Referees were kind of running away from it, Gary, and I think it caught them by surprise as well. Bad break for the Leopards. For the basketball, Cohen. At number 31 is Pat Andre. Started the game. That shot does not go. Inside Porter. Lafayette has moved the ball very nicely so far. Back to Matt. Matt will drive inside, put it up and in. He can score from anywhere. Go to work around the bucket, Matt Klinuski. It changes this team. Came in averaging 18.2. That's number four in the league. That shot out of the corner, no. Nice job inside that time. That was all about. Ed Porter. He's a freshman. We'll be looking at him for four years. Big body, Gary. Very physical on the inside. Wanting to take it was Cohen, but he got picked up rather quickly. Driving inside and good kick. Way outside. That's not going to go. And the rebound is by E.J. Stevens. The shot was taken by Pat Andre. Like it when the ball goes here. Jalise, jumper, he drops it. Palace, Jalise with his first field goal. And Lafayette by two. I like Polish in the post as well, Gary. You know, he, he, he's not a soft shooter from range, but he, when he gets around the bucket, he's got the size and touch to score inside. And stolen away by EJ, not quite. Who are we going to get the foul? Season, I'm talking about Petrie and Jaworski and EJ Stevens. Mike Joseph has a report. He can come in right now. Hey, guys, just listening in on the huddle with Coach O'Hanlon. Went to a little bit of a zone. Now back to the man-to-man -man just to try to eliminate the penetration. He was a little concerned about the guard penetration. And how can you not be with Karan Ross? Yeah, good point, Mike. And the zone certainly can take care of some of that. It's a little tough sometimes to get rebounds. Lafayette fortunate there that Andre missed his follow-up shot. Well, they got a mismatch on the inside, Gary, if they can get if they can see him. Oh, what a move. Wow. Oh, <laughs> my, Eric Stafford with a terrific basketball move. The senior has really come to play, Gary. Largest lead of the game. That was the first Lehi foul shot of the ball game. Leopards by three. That's Petrie. Back in there. He'll drop it off. Into the corner. EJ does not quite get it to drop. Stevens. This is from the corner. Here comes Lehigh. And we're going to get a foul here at the moment. 87%. And he goes to the line and does not disappoint. He drops them both. Lafayette by one. They've led by as many as six. Lehigh has led by as many as four. I like it when it goes here. Make the move. He's Jared, got he's got oh, yeah. a real mismatch. Absolutely. That's pretty easy. Is he shooting over a guy who uh, is what? Five, about 6'3? Well, the movement in the offense created the mismatch. Great recognition by the Leopards. And then uh, once Lucas Jarrett got it down there, you saw how easily he scored over the guard. Drive up. No, too hard off the glass that time by Tejada. Wide open. Petrie. And that's Petrie. That? Cannot give Alex room. A roll reversal right there. That time it was Matt Klinuski off the dribble penetration. Forced the help and then kicked it out to Petrie. And he's deadly when he's in rhythm. And he's got one of the more unique oh, shots yeah. you'll see. <laughs> it's, he's got weird body frame. Yeah. He's got weird release. But we have seen him just knock everything down. That one, no. E.J. Stevens, a freshman with a rebound. We got three, those three freshman guards we talked about, Gary. They're all on the court together. I like it when it goes there. I'm going to keep saying that all night long because it's important. Oh, well, he got bumped. He made it anyway. Probably should have been a foul on that play. Okay. 6.32 to go. They've only committed 14 fouls. Levi is one foul away. We're putting the Leopards on the line to shoot two every time. Gary, during the pre-Patriot League season, during the schedule in the preseason, Lafayette played a number of teams with incredible quickness. NJIT, St. Peter's, a lot of teams 
Uh, so this is not new to them. When they see the guards that Lehigh has, uh, it's not the first time seeing this kind of quickness. Pull up jump shot will hang around the rim and drop for LaFroy. That's his first field goal. He averages double figures at 11.2. Stout. EJ with a back cut. He got picked up. Inside Jaworski. Way outside Stout and it's short. Kyle had a wide open look, couldn't drop it. Great look, that's exactly what they wanted. Nice job to save that pass. That looked like it was going right out of bounds. Into the paint, drop it off. Porter again, Porter this time on a nice feed. His first bucket. It was a good timeout by Brett Reed. He felt things getting away from him a little bit, Gary. And Lehigh responds after the timeout. Lehigh is two and four on the road this year. Lafayette is two and two at home, so both their wins have come right here at Kirby. Too much on the perimeter here, Gary. EJ, that's a tough shot. It yeah. will not go. That time they, they they basically moved the ball. I don't think the ball ever penetrated the three-point line. That shot doesn't fall. The rebound by Kyle Stout. Because of the action, Lafayette can't get Klanuski back in the ball game. He's been over there waiting to come in now for, uh, for about a minute, 20 seconds or so. Almost taken away, and that will be... Staples of this Lehigh basketball team, the quickness defensively of their guard. Walking it up slowly, Karan Ross. Way outside LaFroy, that won't go. And a good rebound by Lucas Jarrett. Garrett has been very visible here early. Nice play. And a better play. Defensively, the quick hands of Ross. Watch out. He's looking around all the time. He finds his man inside, up and in. Another assist from Ross. A, with the basket. Yeah, that's just such a senior play, Gary. I mean, it was athletic quickness and ability defensively, but boy, which smarts at the offensive end. Way outside. Lucas can't get it to fall. Should he take him? Well, he makes him at 33 percent. He had an open shot. John, John, it didn't take long for much of that eight-point lead to disappear. No, that's the kind of game it is. Both of these teams know how to score the basketball. They're explosive. Good block inside by Jarrett, shaken loose by Klenuski. Numbers if they hurry. Jaworski's a good three-point shooter. That doesn't fall. Rebound control by Jordan Cohen. Cohen quickly down the floor. Numbers Cohen up. wants to go. No, I was going to say, here, numbers up there. Are we? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, up and down action here. Working against Klonowski. Back outside. A little shake and bake that time. Up, doesn't go. Battle for the rebound. Stout shook it loose. Jarrett ended up with it. Yeah, okay, doing a good job, Gary, on the boards. Way outside, Klanuski for three. His second of all game is 24th of the year. He only shoots them when they go in. That's how efficient he is. Javier <laughs> is five for 17 from beyond the arc. Stops the bleeding, Gary. They were up eight. Lehigh got it to two. That, five, that three gets it back to five. Way outside, that's Cohen. And he can't get it. He bounced out. Down inside they go, Jarrett again. Back outside, Jaworski for three. He got it. Justin for three, he's got 16. The Leopards back up by eight, a game that has had four ties and six lead changes. And that was another timeout called by Brett Reed. They use it as a TV timeout, but he's down to two. Lafayette has all four of theirs left. It's played good defense, John. They, they really have, Gary, and they're out rebounding Lehigh as well. And usually, good defense and rebounding go hand in hand, and that has been the case for Lafayette tonight. The rebounds are 20 to 16 in favor of Lafayette. That's Miles Cherry. Baseline drive, and what do we have? Bodies all over. Control of it, and uh, Lehigh did a good job of rotating defensively. Fifth turnover by Lafayette. We approach the 92nd mark left to go here in the first half. Been a quickly moving first half. Oh, that's a walk. Yeah, fans <laughs> saw it. I, yeah, I saw. I know. Yeah, Barney. 
But good job by Cherry to hold his position and make that a tough shot for different uh, levels. Uh, but again, it's the Patriot League. There's a lot of familiarity, and uh, no one's going to hand it to him. Tronowski. Stout. Cherry. Petrie. Down inside, Cherry's wide open, great pass. That's a little big man to big man. High low, it's, it's a component of this offense, and I really expect that over the course of the season, we're gonna see more of this tandem for Lafayette. Cherry and Klanuski playing together in the post for the Leopards. Nice high wow. triple drop on the big arc by Tejada. And he knocks down a three. Lehigh needed that one, Gary. It gets it back to seven. Lafayette had expanded to a 10 point lead. But boy, I'll tell you, Cherry and Klanuski together give this team a different look. Let me see it again. Drive, Stout, up, and it won't go. Needed to use the glass. He did not get it on the glass. But again, you can live with that. Inside out, Kyle Stout had the step, and uh, it is a, uh, it is a, you know, it's a shot that Fran can live with, a possession he can live with. Lafayette with six threes, Lehigh with three of them. That's kind of the difference in the ball game. Lafayette by seven. Drive, good job defensively, but a better job by Karan. Rocking period. John, it's typical Patriot League basketball. You, Everybody's tied. You can't make that up. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> unbelievable. Four of the other five games are tied. Wow. And of course, we have a close one here, a five point differential. Tahada took it inside and got nothing out of it. They go inside to Karnick. Karnick back outside. That is Caleb Bennett getting a second half start. Bennett will put it up on a reverse layup. He'll put it up and in. Kind of get the uh, impression that maybe Brett Reed talked to his team about getting the ball inside, taking advantage of some of that size. Bennett is a Missouri product, and he was a three-time All-State basketball player. Lafayette pinging it around, get it inside to Lucas Jarrett. Nine on the shot clock, Jarrett trying to create space. He does and doesn't get the shot to fall. Well, that was a much better job by Caleb Bennett that time. He kind of forced Lucas off the line a little bit, off the block, and uh, Lucas took that shot from a position he did not want to. Well, Lehigh with a chance to get even closer, even a possible did not start the second half as Jarrett did. And now Jalise back in there. Lehigh had the ball to start. So I'm sure Jarrett was in there for a little bit of defense. I think they like this matchup too. Paul Jalise has got Caleb Bennett guarding him. He's giving away. Wow. Matt was not ready to shoot that one. That was ugly. Yeah, still on 42. That shot to tie the game doesn't go. Carnick with a rebound. Nowhere to go. That was a poor decision on his part. Yeah, really, no one made themselves available. I think Carnick looked around for somebody to throw to. He was just in a terrible spot. This is what they wanted to do, I think. They wanted to get that ball down to Jalice. Leopards want to get a basket here. How about a three? It's yeah, just how about so a three? Much Petrie. easier to shoot the ball when you get a feed from the low post and you can step into it and Petrie makes him pay. Inside out is Lafayette's game. And that's the third triple of the ball game for Alex Petrie, who got a start in this game. Nice job. I'm not quite sure how Carnick got so free to get that oh, rebound. It looked like Jalise had position, Gary, and he wanted a foul on the play, but good hustle by uh, Carnick. And Klonuski will get that, uh, great agility. He now has double figures because he has them already in 15 consecutive games. Going back to last year. Tried to make a move on Carnick, tried to get a foul on Carnick, got neither, and Lehigh's going to turn the ball over. But Lafayette's done a good job of taking away Lehigh's running game. These guys love to get out and run, and that was one of the few times they were able to do it. Down inside, they go to Jalice. He wants to go. He's got a size advantage. So he gets it outside. How about another inside out? But that's Or outside in. Right the first time. Didn't yeah, go. Didn't go. Not a bad look. Ross drops it off. Karnick. No, doesn't go. Rebound, Jalice. Here come the Leopards. Karnick did not look comfortable shooting that mid-range jump shot, Gary. Stafford back outside. How about another three? That's short. Up by much. That was almost right on line. Ball reversal in rhythm. Not a bad shot. So both teams starting a little bit slowly here. Lehigh outscoring Lafayette four to three. 
pull-up jump shot, and that will fall for Kyle LaFroy, his second field goal. He has six. One of the toughest shots in basketball, Gary, because it's, you know, it, players these days have developed such a touch from three-point range, they can take it to the rim, but that mid-range jump shot is sometimes more difficult than any other shot. Jalees. Oh, pretty nice. Yeah. That was another sneaky move by Jalees. First, he put the ball over the head of the defender. <laughs> And then he reversed himself with a reverse layup. He's got three or four inches on uh, on uh, uh, Caleb uh, and, and Caleb Bennett, and that time he took advantage. I think Fran identified that matchup and likes it. Quick pull-up jump shot. Lafroy doesn't go. And another Kyle Stout rebound. Well, they got him inside again if they want to get it to him. Drive and a foul. This will be a foul. Working, Matt. Matt, uh, Matt was yeah. texting me all day. <laughs> Anytime we play Lehigh, Matt does a lot of texting. Lafayette out of the timeout, up by four. Led by five at half. Under ten now on the shot clock, so they'll get it to work. Oh, well, that, that looked right on, didn't right, it? Yeah, we had a great angle, Gary. I thought that was down. Just a little bit too soft as it hit the front of the rim. Once again, Lafayette does a good job getting back defensively. Wow. Oh, my. In the teams of the foul line, they're number one and two in the Patriot League. Ross now with 15 points, came in averaging 13. And Lehi down by one. John, this is about the third time you and I have seen Lafayette play. That first half was probably their yeah. best 20 minutes of basketball. No question about it. It's the way, it's the way they've drawn it up, and, and I, I'm sure that Fran Lamb feels the same way. The least turn around. He had a small guy on him. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure that's the best decision. Get it to the rim. Wow. Big guy. He can do Pat that. Pat Andre knocks down his 22nd of the year. John, those are his first three points of the game, and Lehi has the lead. Yeah, they came at the right time, but I, I knew you had the numbers, Gary, and Pat Andre can shoot the ball. Mack kicks it outside. E.J. Stevens jumper. That won't go. Rebound Andre. He's been quiet, and he's starting to wake up. Ross stopped by Stout. Not a dribble drive. Lehigh legs. Oh, boy, he's got it going. No, not that time. I know, you know, but... <laughs> he replaced Caleb Bennett. The modern phrase is heat check. You know, a, a, a shooter feels it. He feels like he's getting hot. He just has to check to make sure. So he'll have to check it again. But Maybe not somebody right else away. needs to touch it. Exactly. Jaworski. Oh, yeah. nice pass inside. Yeah. That pass came from Kyle Stout. Kyle Stout is playing a solid game, Gary. I still think he can shoot the ball better, but he's playing with a lot of confidence, and he's rebounding the ball better. He's playing good defense. He's playing maybe his best all-around game this year. Fifth tie of the game. We're knotted up at 49 all. These teams give up a lot of points. Lafayette gives up 75 a game. That shot inside, no. Back in. Miles Cherry back in. E.J. finds himself on Ross. Miles Cherry is another player, Jerry, that has given Fran Hamlin some great minutes. Wow. Oh, that's a tough shot by Andre. Andre drops that one down. And Lehigh by two. Stout. I like it. Cherry. Cherry on Andre. I like oh, it. Oh, he had it. Stevens. They had it. He drops it on the floor. It comes right back up to him. I don't know. Kind of hard to blame the passer there. That yeah, was no a nice question. soft pass. No, no question about it. I think EJ would take responsibility for not catching that basketball. But the design was right. It just didn't execute it. Well, Lafayette almost lost that rebound. You notice who never leaves the floor for Lehigh. It's Karan Ross. Out of bounds. Don't panic. Lafayette had gone up 10 at one point in the first half. That was their largest lead. Lehigh. Their largest lead was four. And Brett Reed called a couple of timeouts when Lafayette was playing well, and his team responded. But again, when you've got guards. That inside, he'll knife him. Wow. Go up. Thought he got hit on the arm. No call. Drive LaFroy. No. And another Lafayette rebound, thanks to Jalice. A good contest on that play. 
There goes EJ. How about a floater? Yeah, up and in by freshman EJ Stevens, his first bucket of the game. That's a missed assignment defensively, Gary. Lehigh was not on the same page. They uh, they didn't switch and they didn't stay. And great recognition by EJ Stevens. Oh my, there's a long triple by Kyle LaFroy. His 13th of the year, his first of the ball game. Lehigh by three. Jalice to tie it. He will not. Ross with a rebound. That quickly because they're going to push it. LaFroy way out. That's short. But a long shot, long rebound. It yeah. came right to Ed Porter. Exactly right, Gary. That was a long shot. And it hit the front of the rim, and Lafayette was in great position, but the ball simply bounced out too far. Lafayette doing a good job communicating defensively. Down inside to Porter. Porter up, no. Jaworski. Side Jalice. Got the advantage. Well, he sure Got to get to the rim. Got to get to the rim. Yes. He does and does. Yeah, the last time he got it down there, Gary, he settled for a seven-foot fallaway jump shot. That time he was more patient. He worked himself toward the rim and finished. Ten and a half minutes to go. Lehigh by one. Way outside. No, doesn't go. That shot by Ross. Jaworski, head up. He wants to go back outside. Got him down low. Oh, that should be. Oh, there we get a foul. Well for a change. And we don't have a lead change. Just a tie. As we have our seventh tie. Knotted up at 54 off. Glowski's number five in the Patriot League. Free throw shoot. There's a way to create space. Jordan Cohn lowered his shoulder. Yeah, he, he's, he's six one, Gary. He plays a little bigger than that. He's only a sophomore, but he had a lot of experience last year, and he's a great complement to this uh, this guard group. Petrie, and what do we have? A walk. I want to take it away, you know. He, but you know, I, I don't think he's at his peak yet in terms of his understanding of the offense, when to go, when not to. There's no question about his talent level. Down inside, Andre drops it down to Carney. Carney. Puts it up and in. That's big to big, Gary, and those two guys have been very quiet. Carnick's going to be good. Yeah, the sophomore and the freshman working together, and that's where Lehigh, you know, if those two big guys develop the way Brett Reed wants them to, Lehigh's going to be there at the end. Lehigh by four. Four is their largest lead. They've had it a couple of times. And on the shot clock. Five on the shot clock. Somebody's got to take a shot. Way outside. That almost went. Yeah. You can tell. By Stafford. Sometimes you can tell early in the possession, Gary, if there's a rhythm there or not. Lehigh ratcheted up the defensive pressure that time and took Lafayette well, out of its uh, out of its game. Lafayette has their best rhythm, no question, when Mac Lanuski's on the floor. He is so seasoned, such a veteran. Yeah, he, he, he's one of those guys who just makes players around him better. Five on the shot clock. Oh, good pass inside, up and in. That pass came from Marquise Wilson to Carnegie. Largest like, Lehigh lead of the game. Yeah. Remember the American shot? He took the shot down at American that got Lafayette into the uh, into the championship game that year, 2010. Stout. Lafayette needs a bucket out of the timeout. Jalice, pull up jumper, won't go. Efforts have been cold for a bit. Yeah, and Lehigh, steady. They really haven't had any cold spells. Way outside. Andre, no. It's loose. And Boy. oh my. Oh my goodness. Fran O'Hanlon is incredulous. Wow, that is not a good call. Well, what happened was, Carnegie gets, watch the ball come behind his head, and, and it's right there for the taking, and that's all ball. That's I mean, all ball. Wow. Yeah. That's a bad call. And it, uh, fortunately for the Leopards, I mean, at least it wasn't in the act of shooting, but that's a turnover, Gary, and Lehigh maintains possession and the chance to go up eight. Way outside, and it's missed. That's a big miss. Another stout rebound. That's his 10th. 
Yeah, Kyle is playing a terrific game tonight, Gary. His career high is 12. Down inside, there's Matt. He finds a way, doesn't he? Good pass by Julis. Outside, in. Good job. And Klinuski finishes. It's a four-point game. Lafayette goes to a 2-3 zone out of the timeout. Lehigh was in a very good rhythm, Gary. They were very confident against that man-to-man. -man. So let's see if the zone kind of takes them out of rhythm. Karnick up and Karnick in. Karnick's foul. He's one of the keys on the inside for Lehigh, and he came up big that time. Well, he just got his a tie of his career high of 15 points. Lafayette down by seven. Stout gave it up. They could use a three. They got it. Tawarski got knocked down and no call. Yeah. Unbelievable. Gary Evans, again, great execution. You saw the dribble drive, and then the ball moved around the perimeter. And boy, did Lafayette need that. Out of bounds. I mean, Lafayette. Well, the basketball gods figure it out, Gary. When the offense does good things, the ball has a way of going in. He got knocked down in rhythm, too. Yeah. Stafford. Stafford, tough shot. Doesn't get it. Grant wanted a foul there. Got no whistle. Drive. Back outside. Here's Andre, down in there, Karnick again. Karnick had the ball fall off the palm of his hand. But Shane was beside himself. Edwards needs some stops, down by four. Drive, good block. Oh, what a nice defensive play by Eric Stafford. Numbers if they hurry. Back outside, 4-3, Jaworski no. Halfway down and it came back out. Grimden came out, nice play by Stafford, Jaworski knew that it was coming back out to him because the senior had him all the way. That would have been huge. Ron's. Ron's been kind of quiet in the second half. That shot outside. Oh, this guy, his shots have really hurt. Yeah, he's got know, all eight points, John, in the second half. Yeah, and, and uh, again, he's one of those young big guys that we talked about. Uh, and he's growing up with each and every game. Jaworski, baseline pass. Go Jalice. Inside, Jalice. They're going to say he's fouled outside. Foul. Barnick takes care of a little sneaker problem. Ready to put the ball in play. 5.26 to go. Lafayette looking at their largest deficit of the game. Down by seven. They need it. And it won't go. Jalice yeah. almost. Quick would indicate a shooting foul. Fran didn't get the call. Jaworski. Got it. That's big. How about the freshman coming up big? That's his third triple. He has nine points. They needed one. Down by four. Yeah, the last two came within a minute of one another, Gary. And it keeps Lafayette right within striking distance. Lafayette shooting 31% now. Nine for 29. Foul will be called on. Freeze will just let that go. There's really no advantage to be gained there. Ross, Stafford on him, back to Ross, down inside they go, and another good block, <laughs> Klanuski all ball. Wow, the senior doing a job defensively, Gary, he anticipated that move, he almost jumped before Kurt did. Got Bam! it, oh, Matt called for it, he got it, he's got 20 points, timeout, Lehigh. Done. Jaworski on Ross. Wants him to take a little time to get it up the floor. Hard to take a ball away from Karan at 5'11. He's very low to the basketball. Well, he, he's just a terrific all around player. An exceptional ball handler. Drive inside. That will not go. And we're at 11 in the first half. And again, Andre. Oh, my goodness. He has just been in fuego. Not his first rodeo, even though he's only a sophomore. And he's risen to the occasion. Out of bounds. Good hustle by Lancer every time. 11 points, 10 rebounds. Lafayette down four. Every possession big now, under four minutes to go. Palace at least has been very disciplined tonight not yes. to take the three. I like it too. I like it. He's making good decisions. 18 feet away. How about Rock. the freshman? How about the freshman? He's got 11. 
You know, Gary, again, we talked also about Lafayette doing a good job rebounding the basketball. That tide has turned a little bit. Brett Reed, I'm sure, made a point of it, but Lehigh is now out rebounding the Leopards. And that's one reason why they kind of maintain control. Bennett to Tejada, stopped by Stafford. Seven on the shot clock. That, oh, we're going to get a foul here on EJ. And now he's got a big guy on him. We're going to get Shalise. Nice job by Shalise. Oh, that hurts. Lance Tejada, his first field goal of the second half. Yeah, we talked about Tejada, we talked about Ross, and we talked about K Kyle LaFroy, and they come up big here down the stretch. The eye by five. EJ. Stevens gets it to Klinuski. I, he got away, maybe. maybe. No, I think so. That's not going to go. No. And the rebound by Andre. Lost possession by Lafayette. Need to stop send it. Alex Petrie in, a three-point yeah. shooter. We're going to play a little time and score here, Gary. Every possession now important. Lafayette desperately needs a stop. Ross. No. Tried to shoot it over Klonowski. Probably not his best decision. EJ corner. Stafford. Oh. How did he do it? <laughs> Looked like he lost the ball. I know. He changed direction seemingly in midair and dropped it in. It's a one possession game. That's a huge bucket. You see all the arithmetic at the bottom of your screen. Coming for the basketball to Hada. Stevens on him. Eight to shoot. Ross, pull up jumper. He got it. Clutch. Senior, senior guards. He has 17. The lead is five. Coach's best friend, senior guards. Yeah. Up and in. No. Senior guards to, to take control of this thing. Huge possession defensively for the Leopards. Jaworski on Ross. Key matchup. Ross will get a switch. Now it's Jaworski on Karnick. Not such a good matchup. Ross will get it back. Karnick. They don't get it to Karnick. Step back, shot, drops. LaFroy. Big bucket. Tough, tough shot on the step back. Lafayette played great defense, Gary. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Driving from the frozen tundra. Oh. Nice place to visit in the winter, John. Yeah. Buffalo, New York. Family's family. Come on, but we need a bucket right here, Gary, big time. Not necessarily a three. Jaworski. Ah, he didn't get it. Oh, it looked like he was going to get it, and he did not. And Gary, but when they have, they've, uh, they've made them count. So now Lafayette comes down. Now they let's see if they go for a two or three right away. Down by five. That's a two. Oh. Well, with all that said, LaFroy comes down, drops two foul shots, and now the deficit is seven. Leopards need Matt will put up another one. Well, they'll try to make it tough for Ross to get it in play. And there's a foul. Got it. Oh, nope. he did not. It came out. Get a quick three. There it is, right there. Oh, Jaworski does not put it up, and then he does. Doesn't go. Matt inside. Rest. Uh, the team played played hard 